All right, how about, um, let's talk a little bit about thyroid support. Because a lot of people don't know the difference between hypo and hyper. Can you tell us what yeah. that's about? Well, uh, in, in basic terms, hypo is low thyroid and hyper is high thyroid. Right? So you talk about some of the symptoms of, uh, of hypothyroid, you talk about, of course, everybody knows fatigue, exhaustion, right? feeling run down, sluggish, depression. Okay, We know some of those, uh, dry coarse hair, splitting the nails, constipation, right? muscle cramping, irregular menses, those we, those we know. But when it comes to hyperthyroid, you think of, 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 of increased activity, such as nervousness, palpitations, irritability increased perspiration, uh, thinning of the skin, thin, brittle, fine, brittle hair, racing of the heart, insomnia. These are, all, these are all symptoms of hyperthyroidism, and both of them should be kept under control. And let me give you an example as, as to why. With hyperthyroid, right, uh, certainly there is, uh, there is bone loss, right? But with hypothyroid, you have to think about it, you have low body temperature. With low body temperature, all of your enzymes throughout your entire body are not working to capacity. So we want to be, actually bring you up to euthroid, which means right in the middle. How do you say that? Euthroid, as in it's E-U-T-H, but you know you can, you can use it phonetically as Y-O-U, euthroid. And that's the goal. That is the absolute goal. And by the way, uh, hypo and hyperthyroidism is a serious condition that you must, you absolutely must be diagnosed by your physician. Do not try to self-diagnose yourself. If you see any of these symptoms, first thing you want to do is to get a hold of your physician and make sure, right, that you have a proper diagnose. Well, what if you're already on, um, like, Synthroid for your um, hypothyroidism? Can you take supplements for additional support? Oh, absolutely. However, I, I will tell you, there's a, first of all, there are a number of products you may take, uh, things like iodine, um, Metagenics has a product called Thyrosol, uh, and there are many, many other companies that have other products that contain all of these, all of these things like zinc, uh, iodine, uh, kelp is a good example, it's a very good source of iodine. Um, but I would not uh, use any of these supplements until after I passed it by my doctor, and I'll tell you why. Because <clears throat> if you were to take iodine, you may find right, that the condition of your hypothyroid may change you may have a lesser need of taking your, of some of your thyroid medication, but that can only, only be determined by your physician. So someone should never adjust their own thyroid medication? Absolutely not. Absolutely okay. not. Okay. Now be aware that uh, Synthroid is only one type of thyroid. Synthroid is what is, is a natural product that is, that is manufactured in the body. But the active form of, of thyroid is referred to as T3 or lyothyronine. Right? And that is the active form of thyroid, and the body must convert the Synthroid, or T4, to T3 in order for it to be active, in order for it to work in the body. Right? And many times you will find that you get poor conversion. When you get poor conversion, you need supplements in order to get that to conversion to work a little better. I would also recommend when you have high stress levels, your thyroid is not converted properly either. Mm, okay. So it's, well, it's, 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 quite, it's quite convoluted and certainly it does require your physician uh, and also um, your, uh, your, supplement, your supplement specialist. Well, I hear a lot about women and having problems with their thyroid. Is that something men suffer with also? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's more prevalent than women, of course, but mm -hmm. certainly men have uh, hyper or hypothyroid uh, 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 problems. And do they take the same type of medications and supplements? Yes, them? they would. Yes, they would. Surely. Okay, because it's not affected by your hormones or anything like that. What you would the type? Oh, let's talk about that. As I said before, all of your hormones are affected by cortisol or stress. Your hormones are affected by thyroid. A good example is estrogen affects thyroid. If you have excessive estro estrogen, you will have hypothyroid symptoms with high estrogen. Would it test that way? Would the doctor be able to pick that out? Would he see that? We would hope so. Yeah. Uh, mainly because of symptoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I never really thought and of yet, that. And yet you'll find probably that your lab values 
right, are pretty true. I mean, they're, they're pretty normal, mm -hmm. right? But it's, uh, you know, uh, it's the physician that looks at the patient and determines that the patient may very well be hypothyroid, right, um, besides looking at just looking at the test. Because mm -hmm. there are different types of hypothyroid. A good example is this functional hypothyroidism, okay? So uh, the physician has to be a good diagnostician besides just laboratory uh, results. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks for all your information, and we'd love to have this talk again with you sometime I soon. I would absolutely love to come back and talk with you. Thank Rhonda, you. Rhonda, thank you very, very much. Thank you.